Hey everybody, um, it is, uh, I forget the date, uh, there you go, Monday the 13th of September, um, 2021, it's, for me it's day 55, recovery from the TIF and, um, hiatal hernia repair, surgery, <sighs> I finally feel pretty good, I've, been off this GI cocktail for quite a while now, two weeks, week and a half, I can't remember now, um, and uh, just, uh, sorry, yellow jackets flying around, or wasps, whatever they are, off that GI cocktail, and have just been eating normally, relatively, pretty much, not pretty much back to normal, but more normal than I felt in a while and even the quantity so just for me it took this that long still not recovered yet but for example as I mentioned in the last video last week I believe um, my diet hasn't changed much but I've think of like I said it was uh, supplements that I was taking that was causing some of the symptoms of heartburn I haven't really had heartburn very much uh, at all. I can't remember actually that I've had any. Um, I think I, I was I was having my wife. Excuse me. I made hamburgers on the grill. My wife made the patties, but just ground beef. It was very lean. I want to say 93, 95, whatever my wife can get as lean as you can get. I just made some hamburgers, and I actually I didn't have a bun or anything like that. I just used the fork and ate a hamburger without a bun, but uh, I had a good four ounces or so, probably, and I measured it, I weighed it out, it was about four ounces, and um, it, it's ground beef, so it was not horrible to go down, a little trouble swallowing, but not any different than a ground chicken or ground turkey necessarily, although it's ground and the hamburger patties more together, I guess, but when you, you know, chop it up in a fork, it, with a fork, it's not as, it's not, not much different. But it was good. It even had pepper on it. it. Had seasoning salt on it, which has some chili powder or whatever. I think there's some spicy spices in that salt. It's the seasoning salt that you just buy at the grocery store, of course. But so that was new. Um, and then uh, I still haven't. I did try chicken. Um, I had some. I think I made a mention in the previous video that I had Chick Fil A and chicken nuggets. It took me a long time to eat it because I think it's just so thick. It's not ground, of course, so my body's still like, whoa, what's going on here? But I was able to have it, didn't get sick, I had a salad with fatty dressing, I think I mentioned, uh, but again, had hamburger, I've had more chocolate. The chocolate wasn't the trigger. It had to have been that supplement because I've had some chocolate. I've had those Lifesaver gummies. I just had a couple pieces of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the, the little ones, not the tiny, tiny ones, but the medium-sized ones, and not the standard ones that come to, to a pack, but just the you know, the mini crowns or whatever they're, they are. And uh, didn't have a problem with those. So, but otherwise the diet's much the same. But I have been able to finish, I don't know if I mentioned this in previous videos, but I've been finishing three plus eggs, actually, because I might have two eggs plus eight the cup of mozzarella cheese, maybe a little bit more, just to my liking of this looks like it's enough cheese. I haven't measured it out. And then two or three slices of ham, but it's very, very thin. I swear it's probably 10 to 20 calories per slice, so I'm not getting much, maybe 40 calories extra. But, you know, again, it's not as thick as, as an egg, so, you know, but equivalent, I suppose, the cheese and the ham equals a third egg. So essentially, I think I've been able to eat three eggs, finish them, and then finish the whole thing of oatmeal, which is, again, those pre pick it's a, uh, what do you call it, uh, brown sugar. That's the flavoring. You put some milk in it, put it in the microwave, that's it. So that's, again, just like I've mentioned, that's what I've had for breakfast. Protein shakes and actually added pistachios. I've had some pistachios. And, you know, those are hard. So, yeah, pistachios. And I didn't have a problem. Initially, when I first tried it, I was very nervous. I pulverized the heck out of them. Um, but that's just not what you do. That's not what you eat. You don't realize that, to me, I just don't pulverize it to the point where it becomes liquid. You know, but you, you chew it to your liking and you swallow, you know, and I don't pulverize it, but I've been, at first I was aware of that, but now I'm just, you know, eating. Yay! 
So I still get pain here. Not pain, excuse me. I should say just pressure. It feels like a bloating or a just a pressure. But very intermittent. And then I think with stress and then when I'm exercising, I am lifting very light weights for me. Um, but I'm really trying not to engage too much in here in the core. But um, anyway, other than that, not much has changed in the diet. Uh, eggs and oatmeal and ground turkey and ground chicken and now ground beef and hamburgers and ketchup and candy, Reese's peanut butter cups and lifesaver gummies. I haven't gone as far as to eat just a whole piece of chocolate. Um, but what else have I had that's different? I don't think anything different. Um, a lot of tuna fish I still have with Miracle Whip and uh, macaroni and cheese and um, peaches, like I mentioned. Nothing's changed with my diet other than the quantity. And then I've added in ground beef, hamburgers, ketchup. I've had some A1 sauce again. I've had vegan hamburgers put in the microwave. Hasn't really had trouble going down because they're kind of groundish, ground up ground beef. Haven't tried steak or, or uh, pork chop or something like that. That's really tough. Chicken was as far as I went. So I uh, think I'll have some chicken for dinner, though. There's, my wife made some shake and bake chicken. But she, the way she does it in the air fryer, it's very good. So we have leftovers, and I, I'm i going to try it. And with barbecue sauce. So things are looking up, and not much has changed. It just took time. And I haven't had the GI cocktail I really haven't had to have Tums or roll aids. It just took time. The only thing is just the pressure here. But I've been extra cautious um, trying to just to do things, but still, even now I feel a little bit. So my hunching over, my, you know, sit up straight a little bit more and not squish. I have a bad habit. But, uh, you know, I have gained some weight back too. I think the lowest I got was in the low 140s. 140.2, 140.8, whatever. It doesn't make that much of a difference. For me, it does. But again, I weighed this morning and I'm at 145. So the lowest I was is at 140. I never got into the 130s, but I'm at 145 today. So I think some of it was water weight and all the other stuff, but um, putting on some, some weight a little bit too. And being able to just tolerate more food. And I still feel like I can eat more. I finish a meal and I'm like, I'm still hungry, but I'm just trying to not overdo it. You know, because I, when I have, I felt like, that I, am I feeling nauseous or is it just, is this in my head? Because I'm so used to just being nauseous. And now I'm like, oh, I think I feel okay. I don't need a roll aid. I did take a roll aid yesterday because I was starting to feel a little bit of heartburn or something before the hamburgers. And I was like, ah, uh, and I had a pickle too. And I don't know if pickles are acid, reflux, heartburn. Uh, I didn't have a problem before with those. And I had one, I forgot. It wasn't a whole pickle, but it was... One of those pickle chips, but it was a pickle sliced long ways, but it was thin. It wasn't the whole, you know, whole pickle, but I had a pickle slice. Um, I'd say it's equivalent of three or four pickles, maybe, but with a hamburger. No problems. So didn't even notice. But I took a really beforehand, you know, worried. If it makes me sick, it makes me sick. I got to get back into it. That's the whole point. I did this so I don't have to worry about what I eat. And I didn't have a problem. So was it the roll aid? But otherwise, I haven't taken Pepsid. I haven't taken roll aids. I haven't taken Tums. I took run roll aid. I want to say in the last five to seven days. So it's working so far. So I'm very, uh, you know, I'm up and down. If you've watched all these videos on the roller coaster ride with me, and apologize for my negativity and all that stuff. But again, trying to be give you an accurate account of what I've been through and the struggles that I've had and the depressions that I've gone through and you're not alone and all that stuff. But, you know, I'm still not ready to say I've, I'm declaring victory. But, you know, I am a little bit trying to be more optimistic and positive that this is working and stuff like that. But uh, we'll see. Um, I'm still supposed to go to the other surgeon and ask him about my gallbladder. But, man, if I don't need to because I'm healed and... I feel good then great but again because of this it's a dual procedure it's two it's the hiatal hernia and the tiff you know that's what they talk to the doctor a nurse that knows about the stuff in the same clinic and you know you you were on you felt that you were on track um, for this and you aren't happy with the timeline but you're really on schedule and in terms of you know you had this is a big surgery 
And I guess what bothered me is that they just, I wish they would have told me. So here you go. I'm going to tell you. In my opinion and based on my experience, the books say six weeks. Like I think I mentioned in the last video, I apologize if I'm repeating myself. This is going to take longer than six weeks. In my opinion, if you're not healthy and you're overweight or something like that, it's going to take much, much, much longer than six weeks. This is going to take eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks. And again, even for me with, you know, the hernia repair and the risk for re, re herniating, is it going to still be at risk? I have to really be cautious for 10, 12, 20 weeks. And then again, the first year you're at high risk after that, you're pretty good. So I still have to be careful, you know, and I'm going to be careful for the next, you know, again, 300 and some odd days. So 300 days before a year passes. I got a long way to go. But the books are, you know, six weeks or whatever. It's just going to take longer than that. It's just going to take longer than that. So hopefully I continue to go down the road of recovery, feeling good, being able to eat what I want within reason because I don't go nuts. I don't go to McDonald's Monday and Burger King Tuesday and Taco Bell Wednesday. No offense if you do. But I, I eat healthy. And I just, again, I want a Reese's peanut butter cup once in a while. And I've been going overboard lately. But, you know, you know, if you've gone through this diet, like, oh my God, I just need something else. And for me, having lost so much weight and not wanting to, um, and wanting to keep it on and trying to stuff myself when I shouldn't. Um, but it was hard because I just cannot tolerate. But I finally feel like, oh, I can eat. And I had three eggs and I chowed it down this morning and had oatmeal and chowed it down eating the quantity that I feel more comfortable with and the speed. I felt like I ate normally, within reason. I still have a ways to go. But it's the, the soft stuff like that, not so bad. It's still like the chicken, the steak, which I haven't even jumped to yet. I haven't really, I had bread, I forgot. I had bread, I had a, a little Hawaiian roll. So it was, you know, little tiny-ish roll. I would normally probably have three or four of them. I could, um, but. Um, I just had a hamburger and a roll and green beans, I think, for dinner last night. So, and it didn't really have a problem. I didn't have a problem with it going down. So, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, go to my favorite place, the Kido, but to have a big old monster burrito, there's just no way. <laughs> I might have a fourth of the thing or an eighth. I don't know because, you know, beans and rice and the meat. I haven't really tried anything spicy other than I had a little bit of pepper with the hamburger because that was what I seasoned it with. And then the seasoned salt, um, but I haven't tried pepper on eggs. I haven't tried pepper on uh, green beans or whatever. I haven't tried that yet. I'm just cautious. So, um, but tomorrow's week eight, and uh, you know, in the other book that I have, it's I think it says meat, citrus, alcohol at week eight, which would be tomorrow. So, I'm not I'm not an alcohol drinker. Um, I did try a sip of Mountain Dew about a week ago or so, and it just tasted like blech. Just disgusting. I couldn't taste the sugary taste that I love to taste. I and I just tasted the burning of the uh, the acid from the um, sorry the the citrus. I tasted the 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 burning from the citrus and the carbonation, the burn that went down. So maybe I'm not ready for that yet. So be it. But I mean, I'd like to have a Mountain Dew at some point in my life. But you know, this has citric acid in it too, Gatorade, but it doesn't bother me. I don't think it's a citrus. I think it's the carbonation. And I haven't had carbonation in eight weeks, 56 days, other than those little sips. Um, I did have a sip of my wife's, uh, what do you call it, a uh, Slurpee from 7-Eleven. But I didn't notice that. That wasn't the same. It was different. It's a Slurpee. And is the carbonation really gone from those? I think so. But anyway, all is pretty well. Symptoms are good for the most part. Minor, minor, minor. Wow, major improvement in terms of those. Still pressure here, uh, but everything else is healed. You see my sutures and whatnot. I mean, they healed fine. Sorry if you can't see me. Not that you want to, but there's a suture there, a stitch, and there's one, and there's one. So they they healed pretty good. So um, I don't. I still feel a stretching on occasion, a little bit of a stretch on occasion, but um, beyond that. Um, that was never the problem. It was always the other symptoms, the nausea and the water brash and the heartburn and the stuff you're familiar with. It's diet, symptoms, medications haven't taken, no Pepsid, no Rolaids, no Tums, 
Nothing like that. I did take Gaviscon. I can't remember. I think I was maybe just having a little bit of an issue when I took some Gaviscon. I don't remember why, but I did I did take that. I took some Gaviscon just because I that the drink I drank and it coat my throat and it helped instantly. So but I don't remember what I had that day, but so I did have that here and there. But for the most part I haven't really had for a while there I was having three or four or five Rolades per day or Tums. And I just it was even taking them to work just in case. And I haven't had them very much. So it's just not a roller coaster down in a good way, but uh, you know, slow and steady um, down the hill, down the mountain, um, over the hump, down down the mountain. Still got to go slow because you know you never go crashing into something else. In my my analogy, you get my point. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm not scheduled for any other doctor's visits other than what I mentioned with going back to the other surgeon to ask about my gallbladder, see if that's involved. Don't even know if I'm going to do that. I still have a sour taste with the water. I don't drink water, though, unfortunately. I still drink Gatorade, um, flavor the water with Mio. I'm going to go to the, my primary care doctor tomorrow. Maybe he can give me some insight on um, the water taste. Um, or, uh, you know, I still have some white tongue issues. But it's for the most part it's okay but it's just again the, i don't know what it is with water what the, why there's a trigger with water but i've been avoiding it i drink protein shakes i drink flavored water mio and i drink uh, pro, uh gatorade and that's pretty much what i drink right now so nothing else and if i i can't drink water so i just flavor it which is unfortunate but it is what it is right now so maybe in the future and as, as long as i don't have any symptoms if this is the way i have to do it i guess then so be it um, here in the winter, I'll start drinking uh, tea probably a little bit. I'm not a big tea drinker, but I'm cold all the time. And now that I've lost weight, I'm going to be even more cold. So I'll probably drink tea. But uh, other than that, uh, like I said, I feel pretty darn good. Energy's been okay. Sleepy's been okay. Again, I still am cautious, but uh, and I get nervous about the pressure. But uh, when they did the endos excuse me, esophagram, everything looked good. So I just have to be careful, I know, but and I'm eight weeks tomorrow, so lift what you want. Lift what you normally would. I am, well, not, not really. I could lift a lot more, but uh, I'm just cautious. I think I've lifted like 40 pounds at once, but I haven't gotten any more than that. Some dumbbells, one weighs 20, and the other one weighs 20. There's your 40, but I've lifted some 30-pound weights, but not together. I've done one at a time. So it's not like I haven't lifted more than 50 pounds since I've had the surgery. So um, all is well. So there's an update for you. Um, I'm trying to think if I missed anything to give you an update on, but I don't think there's anything different. So uh, unless again something changes, um, maybe my doctor has some insight tomorrow in terms of my white tongue and the wa the sour water taste and why is it just water. I don't notice other symptoms. I can eat, again, I've been eating whatever I wanted to, even candy um, and the Lifesaver gummies. But why the water? Does it, my nose, and I don't know. Uh, so anyway, there's your update, and uh, this one's a good one. So I have a lot of, lot of, lot of positives, but just to get an update on all that stuff. So uh, probably, again, won't post for another five to seven days or so unless uh, something changes and I have news from doctors or something like that so have a good one